In this video, I'm going to show you how to drill a hole in glass perfectly centered without cracking it. To get started, I'll show you the equipment that I'm going to be using. These are ball end diamond bits. I would have purchased these off of eBay for about a dollar a piece. If you want these to last, you're going to have to lubricate them as you're cutting through the glass, and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing, however, is to make a mark in the glass that is perfectly centered where you want it. Here's a little piece of sandpaper with a hole in it. This sandpaper is to be used on a Dremel tool so it's perfectly round with a little hole. I'll press the sandpaper in firmly and just give a little bit of pressure just to make a little nip onto the glass. Just for this small operation, I don't have any lubrication on the bit because I do not want the sandpaper to get soggy. This is enough of a mark that it'll keep the bit on track. I'm gonna take just a little bit of diesel fuel or kerosene and put it on here for lubrication. I wanted more control than a Dremel tool. This bit will fit a Dremel tool, but I'm using a cordless drill because I can slow down the speed. Now, as I'm drilling, because this is a ball end mill bit, I can move back and forth and just keep carving through the glass. Once I feel the bit get all the way through the glass, I'm not gonna want to tilt it back and forth or I may crack the glass. Right now, I'm not all the way through, but I'm getting close. Just in case the glass breaks, you wanna have gloves on or a rag around the glass bottle. Okay, well, we have successfully gotten all the way through the glass without cracking it. To widen the hole just a little bit, you can use this bit, but don't tilt back and forth. If you do, you could crack it. You can wobble a little bit, but no aggressive movements. Just make sure you keep lubrication on the bit and just go slow. I have found that if it's gonna crack, it just cracks. It doesn't come at you. There's no shards. It's just a bit startling when it happens. It's tougher to keep it lubricated when there's a hole in it because the lubrication goes through the hole and if you tilt it to the side, it runs down the side. Let's go ahead and clean off this kerosene glass mixture. You can see that this hole is very centered and very clean. I'm gonna dig some of the debris out with this nail, but whatever you do, don't twist the nail too hard and snap the glass. So there we have it a hole all the way through glass. If you wanted bigger holes, you can get bigger tools to make bigger holes. So next time you say, I want a hole in the glass right here, exactly here. Well, now you've got a method to try. Well, I certainly appreciate your time and thanks for watching.